Welcome to Project Me, the podcast. I'm your host, Tiffany Carter, the founder of Project Me, multimillionaire entrepreneur, former TV newscaster, money-making expert, female empowerment speaker, and self-proclaimed office supply addict. My mission is to take the mystery out of making big money. Every week on Project Me, the podcast, I'll share success tips, strategies, and stories from other entrepreneurs, experts, and millionaires, showing you exactly how you can achieve your most exceptional life. Now let's get to it. Let me ask you something. Do you feel like you're doing all the things to grow your business, but it's barely budging? If you had an expert you trusted lay out a proven strategy for you step by step to get you to consistent twenty to fifty thousand dollar months without burning yourself out, would you do it? Imagine if in two days you got more done for your business than you have all damn year. Imagine being immersed in an abundant cocoon luxuriating at one of the most exclusive beaches in the world while getting a customized action plan nailed down for your business so you can clearly scale it to multiple six figures. Imagine being able to release all that mental money noise that has been weighing you down in a highly supportive, safe, and super fun environment. Would it feel good for you to leave after two days with me having your profitable offers laid out? clearly understanding the holes in your business and how to fix them, a marketing plan so you can sell the shit out of your offers, how to attract more paying clients on repeat, and knowing exactly how you are going to generate passive income from your business. If this feels good to you, even if it feels scary, you need to take the final call and your final chance to go take a look at the page for the mastermind. This is my first ever two-day live mastermind experience with me. I have not done one in four years, so the likelihood of me doing one of these again is slim. So I would not procrastinate or tell yourself it's not the time. If you're not sure if this is great for you, the best thing to do is to fill out an application and let me help you determine that because I'm not accepting anybody into the mastermind who I don't absolutely know for sure would be a great fit and would get an excellent return on investment because that's not a good look for either of us. Go to projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash mastermind, projectmewithtiffany.com com forward slash mastermind. The link is also my bio on Instagram at Project Me with Tiffany. These applications are closing really soon here and there's a maximum of 15 spots. So by the time you're hearing this, we might already be sold out. I'm not sure. So go to the page, read the details, fill out the application, do the damn scary thing and stop toe dipping on your business. Welcome to Project Me with Tiffany Carter, the podcast and posse. I'm your host, Tiffany, and this is another episode from our super popular Get Unblocked series. Who am I to be charging this much money? We need to unpack this junky money mindset in this area. So if you're not familiar with this Get Unblocked series or you're new to the show, I started this, I think it's been like six weeks now or so. You'll be able to find all of the episodes on any platform, whether it's Apple, Google, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or you can simply go and grab it from my website, projectmewithtiffanycarter.com. And you'll see I put in brackets at the front of every episode in this series. It literally says, get unblocked series. And I take the most common limiting beliefs that I hear on repeat from my clients, from my people in my posse membership that are in my programs, from you guys in my DMs, And I turn them into episodes where I'm speaking directly to your critical brain, to the inner bully, to that ego, and talking sense into it so we can help transform it and rewire that crazy thinking. And all of us have it. So if you have any um, reoccurring thoughts that you would love for me to include in the Get Unblocked series, simply DM me on Instagram at Project Me with Tiffany. None of them are too weird. None of them are stupid. None of it. 
None of them are. These are our, our thoughts. We all have them. I've had all of these as well at some point down the road. And then our brain just comes up with new ones because it's fun like that. This is something our ego does to try to keep us to stay safe, play small, prevent us from doing scary things, um, things that require vulnerability and visibility and being exposed. You know, just doing the standard status quo crap and the regular mundane things of life, you know, there's a payoff to that. And there's a lot of people who live that way. And the payoff to that is there's little risk involved, right? But there's also little light and not as much impact you're really making and also not as much cash. There's a lot of people that want that as they say, simple life. Oh my God, I'm literally seeing dolphins. That is so freaking cool. Wow. Part of me wants to pause this. That is cool. Oh my God. That's awesome. I'm literally watching dolphins right in front of me go across the shore. That is so beautiful. And then there are surfers that are out there. My dog's about to bark. Um, there are surfers that are out there just sitting on their boards watching the dolphins. This is what makes me want to be able to surf. Um, you know what? I've tried it. I'm not saying I wouldn't try it again, but I'm just not that kind of girl who pops up from anything. Like, that's just not me. We know I can dance, or at least I think I can, but I'm not someone who you would say that I like pop up. And you got to be able to pop up when you're on a board. And I've uh, ruined my knees being a old school step instructor teaching on four risers and doing all sorts of crazy sports and athletics. So that's not happening. But that was a really cool experience. I wish you guys could see it. But those of you who are coming to my mastermind in person, the two day live experience with me here at the beach house, there's no way you won't see it because this has happened already several times this week, but I've just not seen them this close. Not that you're coming to the mastermind necessarily to see dolphins, but it's the abundant energy that you're learning from. And it's me and my other special guest experts. You're going to get more done in your business than you have gotten done guaranteed all year. It's really for if you're ready to get damn serious about it and stop messing around, stop using hope as a strategy, stop with the, well, I'm not ready yet. I'm not sure if it's time yet. I'll do that when... If you're like, you know what, enough's enough already. I've got to stop toe dipping on my dreams and just go for the damn thing. You know, you've made, you know, you've made some money and you have an idea, you obviously have an idea, you have an expertise of what you want to do, and it's not yielding the money you want. And you want to take it to the next level and you're not quite sure how to get there. And you could figure it out. Most of you probably could. You're really resourceful and tenacious. But you're smart enough to know that do you really want to waste that time trying to figure it out and the money and the energy and all the frustration? Or do you just want to pay Coach Tiff and let her tell you exactly what works and what doesn't and then customize that area in between that feels good to you and your ideal clients? That's why a lot of courses and group coaching programs are only successful for like 10% of the people in there and then you know, online marketers use that 10% of the testimonials to then show how great it is. And it's not that the program isn't great, but one size fits all doesn't work in the world of marketing. Yes, there are things that work and there are things that absolutely don't work, but there's a large gray area in between. And if we are not creating a way for you to attract new clients on repeat and to market and share your offers consistently that feels good to you and your ideal clients, you won't do it. And if you don't do it, no one's going to know about you and no one's going to buy from you. So that's why it's so important to get that customized help. And I wanted to experiment by doing that in person. I've not offered any way to work with me in person in four years. So the likelihood of me offering this again is very slim. So if you have any sort of attraction to it or you're getting that inkling in your gut like, I know I need this, but I don't know if I have the money and Tiffany's freaking expensive and blah, da, 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 da. Well, that's probably a sign that it's a big, scary action and you need to look into it. So just go look at the information page, actually freaking read it. 
And then if you're still like, God, I'm not sure if I'm at the right point for this. Is this the best investment for me? Will I get the best return at this time? Then fill out a damn application and let me tell you. I'll tell you straight up. I'm turning away people who are not at the right point for this. And I'm redirecting them in other areas because that's in the best interest for you and for me. And we operate out of integrity. I don't need to take people just to take people that never works well. I've tried that before. And that is not a really abundant uh, money energy, is it? Just to take people to take people. That's settling. And it never ends well. I want everyone who is here to walk away going, that was one of the best investments I've made in my business, hands down, period of all time. And if you don't feel that way and you leave, I'm very open to giving you a full refund. It sounds wild, but I am. But that's how confident I am. There is no way you're not going to walk away getting exactly what you need to take your business to the next level and getting work actually accomplished. Yes, you'll feel empowered. Yes, we'll laugh. Yes, you'll feel the abundant energy. But what you really need to do is get down to the true business of building your business. And that's what's going to happen here so that you can't procrastinate. You're going to be held accountable in person and you're going to shave off a shit ton of time. So go to projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash mastermind, projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash mastermind. My applications are about to close, so don't blow this off. Even if you have to pause this episode to go do it, I would do it because, again, no idea when I'll be offering this again, and we only have a few spots left at the time I'm recording this, so I'm not even sure if there are spots left right now, but there's one way to find out and go to the damn page. Okay, so this whole who am I to be charging this much money? What you're doing is you're subconsciously abandoning yourself with money. Let me say that again because it's a wild concept. You're subconsciously abandoning yourself with money. I bet no one has told you that before. I'm not sharing this with you so you can shame yourself about it because we don't need to do that. It's something most all of us do in some fashion. I've done it many, many, many times over. So you may be doing it by undercharging for your expertise, time, and energy. You may be doing it by overgiving to the point of feeling unappreciated and exhausted. That's a common one of mine. I have to still manage that very closely. I'm an overgiver, and I know a lot of you guys listening are as well because like attracts like. You may be doing it by having crazy high prices and are pushing people away. Like maybe a coach told you you need to increase your prices and you're like, you know, I'm going to, I need, or you might have thought I need to increase it because my audience isn't big. So at least, you know, if two people at $10,000 each is better than, you know, five people at $500, but it doesn't really feel that good to you. You're then pushing people away with those high prices with that kind of energy You may be doing it by barely sharing your offers. Mm -hmm. This goes for almost all of you listening right now and keeping a low profile, even you showing up as a version of yourself, but not really 100% as yourself. That's another way of doing it. You may be doing it by constantly wanting more and more and more. I want more followers. I want more engagement. I want more clients. I want more opt-ins. I want more of this. And not really honoring and celebrating what you currently have. I can fall into this because I'm not, if you haven't gathered, my longtime listeners, I'm not a naturally optimistic person. I never have been. I'm more of a realist. So, and which can even sound pessimistic at times, there's like a safety that I feel by looking at worst case scenario, because if I can wrap my brain around the worst case scenario, um, then I can handle that any, anything that comes at me. And while this makes sense and it's very, you know, protective and all those things, it can push away money and abundance as well, especially during launches instead of really celebrating every person who comes in and being so grateful for what's currently here and how I'm going to serve them, my brain can go to, well, what what about the other people? Why isn't it all full? This is crazy. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da. 
and that's not a good energy either. So I, I want to, sh- you know, you to know it doesn't matter how much money in the bank, how long you've done it, how much success you've had, it, how much work you've done in this area. This is lifelong management stuff, your mindset. This is no different than I talk about stretching at the gym, which everyone avoids it until they have an injury. And you can't start avoiding it again and not expect to have a problem. But a lot of us do that too, right? Me included, like at the start of the whole COVID thing, you know, I wasn't going to the gym because I couldn't. I haven't been to a gym in two years, which is crazy. I mean, I'm a lifelong gym rat. I've been a hardcore gym person since I was 14 years old. Shout out Bally's Total Fitness in Chicago. Thank you. I always love shouting that out. I don't think they exist anymore. I've mentioned this before, but I mean, I've done Gold's Gym. I've done LA Fitness, Equinox. I mean, I've done it. I've done it all. I love me. I love me a good gym because they all have a different vibe. But, oh God. I mean, I started, you know, I was doing yoga three days a week, which are amazing classes at my Equinox. So good. I love my instructors. And then I went to doing none and I've gotten out of the practice. And that was my form of like deep stretching and mental stretching too. And I was doing, what do you think happened? Of course I'm paying a price. I can't fucking touch my toes now because I'm stiff as a board because I'm, you know, I've been lifting weights my whole life. So now I'm stiff and I'm cracky and I'm achy. And now I have to start all over again. You feel me? So the mindset thing is no different. You can, you know, have moments where you get off track. Maybe you go on vacation. Maybe you have other shit happen in your life and you get off track track from it. And you'll feel it. You'll feel it. It'll start feeling tight. It won't feel good. It'll feel achy in your brain. And that is when it's time to get back into it. Maybe you're feeling that now. So this is a great place to start by listening to this Get Unblocked series. So if you find yourself thinking like, who am I to be charging this much money? Well, you know, what you're really saying is that you don't believe you're worth it. I see so many of you showing up loud and proud for your free offers and content. But when it comes to sharing how people can pay you for your help, that energy runs at this like extra low current. This is extra, extra common with my clients, you guys who are in healing mindset, the medical professional space, right? Because it's like there's some belief I don't know where it's come from. It really doesn't matter that if you really gave a shit about healing people and helping people and caring for people, you would do it for free. Well, last time I checked, you weren't God, Buddha, or Mother Teresa. Like that wasn't your calling this time around on earth. If you were meant to be someone who was pure, a public servant and got no cash or a servant of God, and that was your calling, you would be doing that. You have a different calling here. You get to help people and make great money by doing it. Amazing what happens when people pay money that's noticeable to them, they show up. You're damn right. I'm not going to blow off a session or not do my homework for my business coach. That would be wild. I mean, you could buy a car with how much I'm paying her. That would be crazy. So of course I'm going to do that. So but I noticed this like even with like my Project Me Posse membership, that's my low ticket offer, right? It's $100 a month to get four. Every week you get weekly live group coaching from me and other special guest experts, 160 prior training videos, a great community and collaboration of entrepreneurs and people going after their dreams. But you can see the difference in how people show up for a $100 offer for one of my free live trainings for my high ticket offers. Without a doubt, the people who put more money down show up in a different energy. And because they show up, actually show up and show up in a different energy, who do you think gets the best results? Now, the people who really utilize the posse who don't have the money yet or are just too stretched too thin or can't find the credit or don't qualify for PayPal credit or a business loan, who really want it and they heavily utilize it, which is only about 20% of the people, which is still considered a great percentage statistically, I see those people getting results. So you can really milk even low ticket offers and get great results from it. But when people put skin in the game, 
that they find to be a significant investment, they significantly show up. Therefore, they get significant changes in your life. So you are paying, you're charging people to help them help themselves. Let me say that again. You're charging people to help them help themselves. It gets them to show up. It gets them to be accountable. It gets them to take it seriously. This is what what gets me to show up. I have now, I think there was there seven or I don't even know how many people are on my team now. Seven or eight people on the Project Me team, all high end. No, no entry level people here. Okay. It's a lot of freaking money that goes out a month. I'm going to damn well, I'm going to show up. I have no choice to show up if I want to pay them so then they can pay to feed their families and luxuriate because, you know, we're all about that luxuriating life. I don't just want it for myself. I want to support that for all of you. So a story from one of my highly skilled and talented uh, spiritual healer clients of mine said to me last week, I don't feel I could charge more because I don't think people will pay for that, you know, that much for healing. You know, of course, I needed to understand what she was saying back. So I said, so you don't believe your ideal client who's in immense pain and inner turmoil would be willing to pay great money to have her life significantly improved? Is that what you're saying? And she was quiet. I know when you guys are quiet, you're like, oh, shit. You know, that's when we have punctured that crazy thinking in your head. Some of you are saying it right now, like, oh. Then I asked, would you pay great money yourself? I'm asking you guys this right now. Would you pay great money to have guidance to significantly improve your life right now in the areas that are causing you great stress and pain and discomfort? Would you pay great money knowing you'll have the guidance to significantly improve those areas? Your answer better be yes. Not, oh, well, it depends how much money. If it's anything other than yes, this is why you're ha- this is one of the reasons why you're having a problem and no one's paying you. Her answer was, well, of course, I just did it with you. Right. And then we both laughed because she's like, oh, my God, if you're willing to pay to have the areas of your life that cause you great stress and pain improved, then why wouldn't there be other people just like you ready and willing to do the same? You're not the only one who's ready and willing to do that. There's many others. There's billions of people in the world. There's for sure thousands and thousands at the very least, even hundreds at the very least. There's even a dozen people in your damn city that would be ready and willing to do the same. If they knew you existed and you spoke to their pain and you built that like, know, and trust, and they knew that you could help them and that you understood them and that you related to them and they believed that you could help them get to an outcome that they so badly want, without a doubt. But now there's some of you who are playing cheap with your life and haven't significantly invested in your own growth. So you've not paid for the coach. You've not done any, you know, paid for personal development, gone to the events, bought courses, bought the books, um, even invested really in your deeply in your energy and time, not even money. Now, if that's you, this is why many people aren't being attracted to investing in you. Remember, like attracts like. Wouldn't it be wild for me to have high ticket um, exclusive offers myself and uh, command and encourage and empower you guys to make that investment, even put it on a credit card, even take a loan for it, because I know what the ROI is going to be for you. Wouldn't it be wild of me to do that if I wasn't investing regularly in things of that level for myself? That would be like going to a therapist who doesn't see a therapist. That would be like letting a surgeon operate on you who never, wait, that doesn't, hold on. Hold on with this analogy. God, I had a flow going there. Oh, this is what I was going to say. That'd be like going to a doctor, right? Going to see a doctor who doesn't go to a doctor, him or herself, right? Like that would be like, I'm not, I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. I could, you get my fucking point. (laughs) You get my damn point. Like attracts like. 
So if you're being resistant and you're playing cheap and you're not willing to get uncomfortable with how much you spend or taking big, scary actions of any kind for your own growth in the areas that you so much want improvement in, why in the hell would you attract people to do that with you? It's time to kind of get honest with yourself, okay? Because if you wouldn't buy from you, if you were your ideal client, um, we, we, need, we need to talk. Okay, we need we need to talk. I want you to really let that sink in today. It's none of your business how people are going to find the money. Why do you think that your I all your ideal or clients are broke? You create your own ideal client. I we work on that. That's one of the things we're you know we go really deep on when you work with me. So why are you picking an ideal client who is broke and not resourceful? That is not your ideal client. Your ideal client has the funds, has the means, or is willing and resourceful to find them because she or he wants help so badly in this area and is ready and willing to accept the help and do their part and take the action no matter how terrifying it is and they'll do what it takes. That's your ideal client. So you need to stop picturing this person, this broken person, person in your head that is so wounded and so miserable that they have zero capacity to help themselves. Well, that would be someone who is stuck in victim thinking, and that is not someone who's ready for your help. I don't, a lot of you might be calling that person in because you're intentionally not calling in the other ideal client. So let's kind of regroup and go back to the drawing board. I know my ideal clients, I don't give a shit how much money you make or don't make a year. My ideal client is resourceful, willing, ready, and able. She's at a point where she's like, enough's enough's already. I've been toe dipping. I've tried this, that, and the other, and it's not getting me where I want to go. I feel like I've tried all the things. I need to get serious. I need high-level help and clear direction for my business so I can bring in that cash and I'm willing to pay for it whatever it takes. I'll get a loan. I'll ask Uncle Joe. I'll use PayPal credit. I'll use my credit card. I'll actually treat my business like a business, which by the way, there's a reason why there's business loans, people. (laughs) At a certain point in business, you know, people say it doesn't cost anything to start a business. You can get to a certain point without investing any money in your business where you can make a little money back. But the reality is, is you want to have a real business where you're bringing in, you're bringing in serious, consistent cash. You are going to have to spend money to make money. You know, it's like, think of a restaurant, think of a gym, right? They'll make a certain point if they kind of are being janky and cheap with it. You can still make money. Don't get me wrong. But you're not gonna make you're not gonna make the the cash, the freedom cash, the wealth to have the freedom to do whatever the hell you want when you want. You're not gonna make that without investing in it. Your ideal client is not going to wake up feeling fulfilled in her life, is not gonna feel light and free and grounded, whatever, whatever your niche is. She's not gonna feel that way by doing a free course here. Um, by her reading some books and podcasts, it'll move the needle maybe a little bit, but it's not going to get her to where she wants to go. She's got to, she's got to really go all in with it. You know what I'm saying? And so your ideal client's at a point where she's willing to go all in with it. I don't want you to be attracting energy vampires and victims who want to be dragged that, you know, that's going to, that's going to bring your own vibe down. If you love this episode, and you're really liking this Get Unblocked series, do me a favor, leave a five-star written Apple podcast review. And in turn, if you put your name and Instagram handle in it and give me a screenshot of it in my DMs on Instagram at Project Me with Tiffany, I would love to treat you to a coffee drink or a juice of your choice at your own favorite place as a virtual cheers for being such a great listener and showing your appreciation for the show. The show is certainly not free to produce not just my time, but my producer, my coordinator, all the things that go into it. 
And it really helps the show grow and thrive when you take 90 seconds to leave a review. If you don't know how, guess what? You can Google it. How do I leave an Apple podcast written review? You don't even have to have an iTunes account to do it. So I would really appreciate that, you guys. And go check out the Mastermind page. This is last call, last call for the in-person Mastermind or forever hold your peace because Tiffany might not be doing that again. <laughs> All right. So go to projectmewithtiffany.com forward slash mastermind. That link is in the show notes. You can also swipe up just to get to the link in the show notes too. That's probably the easiest way. Wishing you guys great health, wealth, and worth as always. Love you. If you enjoyed this podcast, please write a five-star review on iTunes. Not only will this make me super happy, but it will allow more listeners to find our special show. Simply help me help others.